Welcome back to Stream Money Entertainment. Um, it's your boy Marvin. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday wherever you are in the world. We're going to be discussing um, Brian from Whatever Clips. Uh, basically, it's going to be a reaction busy uh, reaction video. Um, she called Brian small-minded for having standards. So it's going to be interesting. I'll comment as you go. If I pause the video and it's just that um, I'm going to make a comment uh, on the video because this this is quite interesting. Okay, enjoy. I'm not surprised that there are s women who would Especially date her. That's or men that would date you. What I what I'm what I've always been trying to say is. For the majority of people, what I would say whether they're man or what woman, man or woman, uh, most people don't want to date someone who's a prostitute. Well, I would date somebody like that, so I'm saying. I think like, you're missing. Like, I think you're just not trying to listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that there's zero people. That like there's people that would date you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for the majority of people, the majority of people don't want to date a prostitute. I heard that. Do you part. disagree? The this is interesting because, like I said, he's. It seems like to me, um, if obviously leave notes in the in the comments or messages. What I think is, she's a beautiful woman. She would be able to date guys, but it wouldn't last long. It wouldn't be productive for the guy thinking of her past. And he would just be what I think is just lustful with her than thinking about the long term i want to get married i want to have kids because she's beautiful she's got a you know a, a good body and stuff this is what the guy would be thinking i think in that um scenario and what i think is is i think some people get triggered in sometimes the questions it's like you know i will get a man at the end of the day but it's what standard of man um we're talking about Agree with that? It seems like you want to push back and say I, no. I said yes. Ninety nine percent of people I want said to date I disagreed prostitutes. Like three or four times. Okay. Within the span of when you asked me the first time. Okay. But I'm saying now, like, if a girl is doing OnlyFans or is an, uh, a a legal escort at the Bunny Ranch or whatever, and I'm into her or whatever, we could be dating. And then what? A girl who comes to visit you at no, your place I'm of saying a uh, coworker, you? like a. A person I work you with. Would, I'm saying do you, do you uh, think, an individual that has that does only OnlyFans. I'm saying, I'm, say I meet a girl that only does OnlyFans. Would she date you? Is that? And we date, hit it off. Yeah, I, we hit it off. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. I, we could get married. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, that'd be perfect for me. I don't if disagree I found, like, with your statement at all. But it's just I don't like, disagree don't with your statement at all. Don't assume that men around, you're like, you're all men around, don't What's care. You're just saying you don't do escort or sex work. You know. You're just saying that's, you don't think it's fine. Saying. Like most women wouldn't be cool with it. I think most women and most most men would prefer to not date someone who's been involved. If with you're prostitution. talking about like a queer woman, I actually think she wouldn't care. Look, when, they can argue as much as they want at the end of the day. Everyone has an an, an 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 opinion, but when someone is doing corn or making money, maybe um, flashing something at the end of the day online for everyone else to see that is they can say that's for myself but it's not it's for everybody at the end of the day so you, uh, for me personally i would not feel um exclusive because of what's happening and i would have had to say look at the end of the day um maybe go into modeling and sort of keep your clothes on and stuff or do something to change because you know because uh, it sounds good, yeah, I'll go along with it at the end of the day, but when you start maybe falling in love with someone and you want commitment, I don't think you're gonna get commitment to someone who's on OnlyFans and making good money from it. Um, from it. They're not gonna stop that, um, which is fair enough, each to his own. If she was a, an escort with mostly male clients, she might be jealous I... or not like if you were like, Servicing Jesus. other so, women, but the thing probably. is, is that I, I would be dating another. I would be yeah, dating another sex worker. And, and what does sexuality have to do with political affiliation? Because Brian. we know what progressives think about that. Okay, like that's really not like being okay with gay people. Or what do you mean? No, that's not. Oh, I didn't oh say God. gay people. But well, what do you mean by that? I know. I know the road you're going. And I, I asked what you. What you just asked what you meant. I don't know what you mean. Sorry, repeat um, that. 
I, you you were saying like we know what progressives think, and I was like I was just making yeah, a comment about sexuality. Yeah, we know what progressives are pushing for. We know what they're pushing for. They're pushing for the normalization of sex work. That's what you guys are trying to do right now. So you say yeah, a queer person or somebody else like more progressive. Yeah, that's like the same people. Yeah, go for it. Go with a progressive person if you want to. But most men. Make the most of your SAP Master Data Governance investment with Synity Rapid Data Governance. In general, aren't okay. Dating is sex worker. That is not an opinion. It's a fact. Oh, it's an opinion, I feel like. No, it it's is a fact. Like Some people don't sometimes live in reality. They're so focused on everyone's loving me. This is going to last forever. But there's a time where you get that little bit older and you're actually thinking, Jesus, what's happening to my life? I was having so much excitement, but you're living in a world which is not reality. This is the problem. Yes, you can make lots of money. Yes, it can make you happy. Yes, you can afford to get nice clothes and everyone calling you beautiful at the end of the day. But it's not, it's not real life at the end of the day. It's not that you get up... Um, uh, with your partner, you've got a boyfriend, you go to the cinema and stuff like that at the end of the day. They're doing a job for a reason that a lot of men wouldn't like to date. It's simple as that. Like it's an opinion. I, you feel like it's an opinion, but it's a fact. You feel like it's a fact. So like no, like, there is no and we feeling can agree like to it's disagree. a fact. Do you know what a fact is? People, okay. Yeah, facts but don't care we, about your feelings. Okay, define what a fact is then. How are you going to say Where are you getting your facts from? from? Yeah. Pull the facts then real quick. Oh, are you with the facts? Right I don't think, I don't know I don't if they've think done a study on this. No, exactly, because you can't say that it's a fact if you don't have the backup And also I wanted to add... No, I don't need a study to be done and look up into the sky and know that the sky is blue. Yes, but you're you're talking about somebody that isn't going to be with a sex worker how are you going to tell two different men if they're going to be with a sex worker or not that's not up to you to decide or for you to even assume that they wouldn't pick sex workers i think it's pretty easy to make the assumption it's logical that what brian's saying is logical at the end of the day uh people wouldn't go uh with a sex worker or someone who's flaunting their body online 24 7. It just, it's just, it's, it's human nature at the end of the day that people wouldn't at the end of the day. It's not, let's have a survey at the end of the day. It's not, I, I'll state it again. She is a, 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 a pretty woman at the end of the day. Attractive, probably got a good body, but it's not going to last. It's just for, uh, like, uh, basically a short term fix for some guys who would like her at the end of the day. When they realise they're probably not going to stop her from doing OnlyFans or other things or other jobs, it's, an, it's, it's a no-no. It's a straight no-no. So I, I can understand why she can understand that. ...that most people would not want to date a prostitute. And Do you that think that's a good people preference? that have, are have what? Small minds like you. How's it small minded? Because that's it's big, like, how is that not brain. small minded to go and sell your body <laughs> in a like, broad and broad That's tail. how you feel and that's how you think. It's and not, not about everybody's going to think that what about way. People but, okay, that are, with their, keep... uh, are in a relationship and they both do things like that together. Oh, you oh, guys, God, you guys are like, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Like stop. stop. <laughs> you guys are missing the point. I've repeatedly said over and over again I'm not saying that it will be impossible for you to find a person to date you. I'm not saying that every single person on the planet would not date a prostitute. I am saying most. So when I'm saying most, I'm saying more than 50%. It could be 51%. It may very well be that 49% of people would date you. What I'm saying is most. So at bare minimum, 51%, I would say, the majority of people would not date a prostitute. Can I and say I would say it's 50-50. But do you think, we're really quick. You would say it's 50, exactly 50-50, yeah. exactly 50-50. Yes. I, would I wouldn't. I would say, in my opinion, the world we live in, it would probably be 70% no, 30% yes. Most of the people she would be date are going to be open-minded to seeing other people. But like I said, that ain't, it, that's not really a relationship or in... Uh, the corn game or only fans themselves at the end of the day, but that will fizzle out. It's not really true love at the end of the day. 
uh, yes, um, she would find someone. But if it's serious, he's, he's going to have uh, a few rules on both sides to make that relationship work. And it's whether she sees that. But what she's actually saying to Brian, um, I don't think she's going to change anything in her life. And she's happy with that. That's fair enough. She, everyone has a point. And um, I respect that. But standards are there for a reason. It's 50-50. And that is my opinion. Right? Can I say something? Go ahead. I think a lot of people would say that they wouldn't. But if they made that connection... They would. I mean, I think it... it... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you can no. say what you no, gotta go ahead. say. Finish your I statement. You. Finish your statement. Go ahead. I want to play off with what you're going to say. So I want no, you to No, finish say. your... You were in the middle of... Go ahead. <laughs> I your... lost my train of thought now. <laughs> because... You were saying that... If the connection was there, then yeah, somebody I think would I think date. it would play a role. In that still doesn't make the majority, nor the fifty percent. That no, means no, I'm not saying it, that. It, 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 I don't know. I don't know any statistics. I don't know that. But I'm saying I think if you did a study. I think more people would say that they wouldn't than Here. would. Can you I've just real. admit stop, that? Stop! 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 <laughs> I have a clarifying question that might. Let's see. How tall is your boyfriend? Six two. How tall are you? Five seven. You're five seven. He's six two. Would you date a guy who's shorter than you? I would. You would. I would. Really? If the connection was there, oh I would. God. That's Stop such cap. Cow. Okay. It's not. Wait, do you think women How are you going to tell? Them? I think, like, I like think there needs to be, How like, of course we can say like. <laughs> If the connection is, I don't even know what that <gasps> really like means. Connection. If you can think that, that you are going to, and to then you meet when you fall in love. Like most, most people are not going to give a person a chance for a supposed connection to even develop because the primary thing people are going to screen on is just is there just a base level of physical attraction. That's the first step. Then, oh. a, then a connection can can develop. However, it's unless you're like withholding the fact that you guys are prostitutes and playing these dudes and waiting until months playing. into the months into the relationship before revealing you're a prostitute if you're up front with the fact you're that you're a prostitute and you should yeah that's a brilliant point because i would want to know personally from the very start um what this person does because like i said it will save you a lot of heartache um, in the future, at the end of the day, uh, being stable and being emotionally stable is very, very important in in the world we live in. And OnlyFans is uh, addictive to many, many young people, not just female males too, to make money, to get fame, um, to advertise their businesses out there, and stuff like that. At the end of the day, and you can elevate yourself to a level that this is the real world, I'm making it. And then, but you're not really, it's just, um, you can, if you keep your beauty and you know, you're know you handsome, at the end of the day, you can earn a lot of money from it. I'm not denying that, but I don't think in the long run, it's mentally stable um, in life and in a relationship. I just don't think it is. That's personal, my personal thing. Good with romantic partners, there's not gonna be the ability for a connection to develop mm -hmm. because most men's standard is to not date a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you're a, you seem like a very pleasant person. However, you're a prostitute. Mm -hmm. That's an immediate no-go. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I think you're an attractive girl and you have a very pleasant personality. Mm -hmm. But because you're involved in sex work, it's an immediate disqualifier. It's mm -hmm. a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. There's no scenario, even though you are you seem like, honestly, you're one of the most pleasant women we've mm -hmm. ever had on the show. Mm -hmm. You're an attractive girl. Mm -hmm. I just would and. I'm not saying this to be mean or anything. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't date you mm -hmm. because of the work that you're involved with. Uh -huh. And that's the end of the story. Mm -hmm. In the same way that there's plenty of women who don't want to date me because I've got this ridiculous podcast and I'm out there on the internet. Um, amazing point. That's the point I was, uh, I was getting to at the end of the day. Um, once again, she is attractive. She will definitely get a lot of attention. 
But I think it would be for the wrong reasons. You may think, oh God, this guy likes me, but he's just probably, after one thing, thinking like, she does this at the end of the day. Um, let me see for a month or so. It's not serious, let's see how, how it goes. And you don't want to be someone who's going from relationships to relationships because that is damaging too. I don't, I don't object to women not mm -hmm. wanting to date me because I'm out there and I have, you know, co maybe controversial opinions. I think that's fine. But, but I'm not going to say here. Do you think voice. it's a better preference for that's... people to immediately disqualify somebody from dating them just because they do sex work? Do you think that's a good thing? There's a lot of there's a lot of fish in the pool, and yes, I think you, in the same way that women disqualify men very quickly for a yeah. myriad of reasons, yes, sex work is a perfectly valid immediate disqualifier. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying whether or not people are empowered to do that. Obviously, you can do that, but I'm asking like, would you say that people ought to be doing that? They ought to be doing that if. If I were so to like, give, if, if they, I were to advise men, if I were to advise my audience who are watching, if I were to advise my son, if I were to advise my male friends, or just men in general, yes, I would strongly recommend not dating <coughs> prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Common sense, yeah. Um, 100%. <coughs> I think to do it for a long period of times, I think it, it, it can affect um, your mind. I do know someone who's um, actually uh, got his own business um, with that and um, it's very much a different world in what goes on behind the scenes at the end of the day. It's not, it's, you know, it's not as straightforward as what you think and um, definitely, definitely um, interesting stories. And there's a lot of stories of um, filmmakers or, or ex corn stars that have actually come out and said it's, it, it isn't the what it is at the end of the day. And it must be kind, kind of lonely sometimes uh, at the end of the day. But I think the more you do it, I think the more you get immune to, um, you know, the not the real world, which is a shame. I just Brian, was trying to see what you were talking I told you nothing. I have given you all the ammunition you need to shoot down anyone who says sex work or high body counts are okay and why most people would reject someone who lives that life. Educate them on their genital herpes. What? Just because oh. I, I think they're, I think they're saying day. like they know most people probably wouldn't but they wouldn't want to date the people who would disqualify them on that basis anyway and they'd keep looking. No? Sorry, what? Could you repeat that? Sorry, I was reading the chat. Just, that's okay. I just think that all they were saying is that it's fine for it's valid for people to have those preferences, but they're not interested in dating people with those preferences. That's totally anyway. fine. Yeah, but that's, I think totally that's all fine. Saying. But that's not what but he was saying. She called it small-minded. Mm -hmm. Well, what she, yeah. he was saying is just that most people wouldn't. Yeah. Which they're both like, probably you, right, but like what you were saying that. is that if they if they got to know a sex worker, like they might go in with that bias, but then if they actually had the opportunity to, for whatever reason, to yeah. get to know a sex worker, they could fall for one. I agree with you. Yeah. I think it's but possible. That infatuation would last. I, I do think it's possible, but I think it's possible in all the wrong ways. Maybe that um, person is insecure and just looking for um, for love, and then when he realizes or she realizes what they've got themselves into. It's a different story because it's you're following on a roller coaster, which is not going to stop, and there's going to be a lot of drama as well um, coming your way because it has to be. You know, this man, this woman has to make money. They're not looking sometimes at you when they're doing their thing. They're not looking at you thinking, "Oh, I love you." It's you know, it's about money. It's about success. And it's about moving forward and earning as much money as quickly as possible. And your thoughts or your concerns sometimes ain't going to come into consideration at the end of the day just being the boyfriend or the girlfriend. They want more than that. That's why they're doing it. It's what, like three months before their objection to a prostitute's work would become yeah. a roadblock? I, yeah, I don't think they would act on it. I think they would the like, oh shit, I'm in love with the stripper, but it doesn't change the fact that like, I don't see this as compatible with my life. I don't see this as compatible with my life or whatever, so I'm not going to date her, but that's different than I like, think, like we're not all falling for them at all. confusing the word connection with infatuation. A guy can be infatuated mm -hmm. 
this is what I said. A woman who does sex work for a while, but does that last into a real relationship that will end in marriage? This is my point. I said it earlier. She's made a brilliant point, um, this lady, about um, infatuation. It's a buzz sometimes for a man at first. It's a buzz at the end of the day. Wow, she's beautiful. She's this. When he wakes up and has a reality check or he's talking to his friends or he's actually thinking, am I going to really introduce um, this woman to my family and what she does and she's all over the internet? No, he's not. He's just going to have some fun and then he's going to disappear. No. Like, their objection to it, her line of work will eventually end that relationship. Do you guys know anyone at the Spot. Money Ranch who is, like, a sex worker at the Money Ranch and married? Yes. There's plenty of women that are married at the Money But we just can't. Just Do you think they're in, like, I'm unhappy I'm saying about, about men who are already I'm, uncomfortable with dating women in that line of work. Then they just shouldn't. Even if they end up... You? Turn your phone over. She's you saying they're not small-minded because she called those men small-minded, and they're not. And she's oh, trying to I mean, your why. preference is your preference, but <laughs> right. just if you're... If you don't want to, then just don't. What we're saying but is that I most say, men would not, and you guys aren't willing speaking, to admit that. that. I was speaking. You can't just admit that. We're injecting nuance into it. Because you're talking about, like... I think we're just injecting right. nuance into it because you're talking about a descriptive claim, right? Observations about the world. It's probably true that most people don't want to date a sex worker. I agree with you. Okay, thank I, you. I, I, we never disagreed with that. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is that it's possible. There's yeah. other variables that you're not considering that could change that. And what people, what the preferences that people express are different than their actions. And I'm saying that I think that there's plenty of people, even though they say that would immediately disqualify it. I think there's more people than you guys are willing to admit that would change their mind if they actually met a sex worker that they happen to be connected with. Mm -hmm. But the main question we were starting from here is if we would... We okay, we're looping, we're looping. Okay. Like, we completely derailed, but that was the main question. <laughs> Look, she did make a good point. I'm not saying people would um, sort of not date uh, a sex worker, but what I think they would do once it starts getting serious and there has to be some kind of rules and regulations on both sides, I think it wouldn't last that long. Let me know what you think, an interesting uh, video again. Uh, do subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and support your boy Marvin. Thank you very much and I can't wait uh, for your comments about this video. Let me think, um, is he right? in what he says or are some of the girls right that um you know 49 percent of people in the world would would would, would date a sex worker and take it seriously <laughs> i know the answer to that one take care wherever you are in the world thank you